Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting. I'm so excited. Um, I, it's kind of a long story. Uh, so I really have been wanting a multicolor, uh, Louis Vuitton multicolor Speedy 30 in the Noir. The, that's the bag that made me want Louis Vuitton. Back in the day, you know, Jessica Simpson, she had the white one, but I don't like white. So I always wanted the black one, but I never bought it. Because back then I was like, $1,000 is too much for a bag. Well, when they discontinued them, I was so sad, but they were so expensive I couldn't buy it anyway. So lately I've been looking really hard for one, and I found a really good one. And I actually bought it on accident. I was on TradeZ and I found a coupon code or whatever and I found a one that I wanted at a good price. And I asked the lady if she could lower it. I offered her something lower and she accepted. She Or she didn't accept. I messaged her and she said, yes, I will lower it. So she did lower it. And then um, I wanted to see if the coupon code would work and I wasn't really sure if I was actually going to buy it. So I put the coupon code in and went through the PayPal thing and it purchased it like I was like oh shit like I didn't mean to do that so uh, but then I was like okay whatever I did it it's done I bought it okay I'm gonna have it so I was really excited and it was in amazing condition the next day I think it was the next day maybe I got an email that she canceled my order she said she didn't realize how low she had listed it for and I was like super pissed because it's like for one you had it listed for that price for a while because I'd been watching it Number two, you lowered it even further after I asked you to, so you know what you did. I was pissed off. So anyway, after that, I was like in a search to find one. Um, I found quite a few, but they ended up having more flaws than I wanted. I didn't, like I've said before, like I want one in really good condition, and I don't want a ton of flaws. I don't want it super dark. I like Honey Patina. Um, I love them super dark, but I don't want them to come that way. I want to do that myself. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to afford one that looked brand new because people are selling those for like $2,500 and I'm just not doing it. So I had a price point and then I had a ton of people that were really sweet, especially Foxy LV that was helping me a ton. Thank you, Angel. Um, she was helping me a ton on finding them and sending me so many that she found. So I ended up finding one. I'm not going to say the website just because what happened was someone very nice, I found her, I found her bag and I offered her, or we were talking back and forth. She had a list for a certain price and I was like, oh, it was only a little bit cheaper and she said that she couldn't lower it too much more. She lowered it 200 more but I was just like it was still too much. So we were just chatting back and forth and it ended up, you know, um, I told her that we were military and her father was and <clears throat> so anyway. She, I needed more pictures, but she couldn't upload them. I wouldn't let her upload more, and you don't have a way of actually messaging people, like real messages, just... Anyway, so she, I gave her my email, and she sent me more pictures, and then she offered to, to sell it to me for less to use PayPal, which was perfect, because then I could get it at a better price, and um, she wouldn't have to pay a fee, you know. Anyway, so it worked out, so I was really nervous, and it just came here. Um... It came in this box. I waited all day for it. She sent it UPS, and my UPS takes forever. I did unbox it, but I wanted to show you she she had it in here, and she had it stuffed with um, some stuff. So she stuffed it really, really well. She took really good care of packaging. The only reason I already unboxed it, on top of me being super excited, was because I wanted to authenticate it. I looked at it, and I knew that it was real, but I needed it for peace of mind, especially with it being this bag. So. You already know what I got, but ah, here it is. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It is in amazing condition. So um, this bag had pretty much like no flaws. I think there, the only flaw that there was was like a dark spot right here on the glazing, but like no, that's nothing. There is no chipping that I could find whatsoever. The inside is immaculate. It is so clean. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Like, how did she keep it so clean? I have no idea. And there's no smell. It pretty much has a smell of just being stored. Like, it's not like a perfume smell. It's not like anything. It's just, yeah, it is so perfect. It is so beautiful. I'm so excited. Like, I can't wait to put all my stuff in it. Yay! Um, I did already check the S-locks. This one opens and closes perfectly. I can see what people say mean when they say that they don't use it very often because it doesn't, like, if there's nothing in there behind it, you have to push it closed. You have to put your hand behind it. Um, and then the 
zipper here. Whoops. You know, it goes into the lock over here, which of course there's something in there so it's not closing very well. And then it comes with the clochette, clochette, I don't really know how to say that right here. And inside this thing are the keys, which I haven't tried to lock it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really nervous. Like I stuck the lock in there, but I didn't use <laughs> the keys. I don't know. I'm like afraid to lock it. I don't know how that actually works. How does that work? Does that work? How do you lock this thing? I don't think I'll ever be doing it, so I don't know why I care. <laughs> Just such a weirdo. Oh. oh, but it's so perfect. I am so excited. Like, the bottom is perfect. I think there's like a speck of dirt, maybe, on one of the white ones, but that's it. Oh, so I'm so excited. She took such great care of this bag. People were telling me, though, that it was really heavy, and I don't think it's that bad. I guess maybe now, since I've owned the Balenciaga City, I know what a heavy bag is and that one doesn't even bother me, so that'll be nothing. So I'm so excited, I'm finally gonna switch out of my petite new way and I'm going to use this thing tomorrow. Um, I will come back and I will give you like a review and my thoughts on it um, after I've used it for a while. I'm sure they're just gonna be positive because it's a speedy and I love the, st the style of the speedy anyway. So that was it, I was really excited, I just wanted to share that real quick. Um, yeah. That's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I hope that everyone has a wonderful day.